Tiger Woods got accused by an ex-girlfriend, he's been with this woman for years, of allegedly sexually assaulting him. However, she didn't make it, she didn't, she didn't expand. She just checked a box on a federal lawsuit sort of complaint form that said, is sexual abuse involved in this? And she said, yes, without expanding on it. And she's going after him, even though she's signed an arbitration agreement with Tiger, which I guess he makes all of his girlfriends. It's sad, but you kind of have to, if you're this famous and this rich, sign a non-disclosure and an arbitration agreement um, to, in order to come into Tiger's life. So she did that reportedly. And now she's gone public. She's filed a public litigation in which she's including that claim I mentioned <clears throat> and trying to come after him. And his team is fighting back saying, number one, you agreed to arbitrate. Number two, you sued his trust, not him, to try to get around this arbitration agreement, which you know is with him, because you want the public to see these allegations. You're trying to shame him into, into paying you something. And number three, they're saying, you're a psycho. You, <laughs> you, you're the problem. This is just a breakup that you're upset about. You're a jilted lover who's now trying to drag his name through the mud because you know he's got a history that will be used against him. And indeed, that's kind of how it's played out in the press where all the headlines were like, Tiger does it again without any proof to substantiate that. It's a tough play. Um, the parties involved, the toughest thing about this is the details. Obviously, that's where the devil lies. And in this situation, when you hear it from 30,000 feet up, you're like, oh, there's two places you go. You're like, here we go, Tiger. You can't get right with the ladies again. We've known that all of your indiscretions have involved relationships, right? That's what we're into again. Or you also look at Tiger as now a sympathetic figure and you're like, oh man, he may be a victim of his own success, a prisoner of his own success. And this is what comes with the territory. Um, it's interesting. When I read the story initially, Tiger Woods was breaking up with his girlfriend, took her to the airport on a trip that they booked for her by herself, which to me already is strike one. Like, when I've never been in a relationship where my partner says, hey, I'm booking you on a trip solo to go somewhere <laughs> by yourself, and I'm going to take you to the airport. And then when she gets to the airport, they're like, don't ever come back, and we change the locks. That's how it initially hit. Now, they say the number one reason for false accusation on any Thing, on any scope, any level is shame. So when that hits the newswire, imagine you're this young lady, you just got, you broke up with Tiger Woods. That's already kind of devastating. Life's going to be different. Let's just say that. I don't give a damn how much mm -hmm. money you got. Life's going to be different than being with Tiger Woods. And then you're like trying to find your comfort zone, trying to get your footing back. And everyone is clowning you, shaming you. Dog, oh, look how Tiger Woods broke up with you. In that place, do you make something up? Or in that place, do you actually go back to all the things that you forgave him of that now you're like, you know what? Forgiveness is out the window because you embarrassed mm. me. A lot of times that's where we end up. In this situation, I, look, Tiger Woods needs to just stay single, man, and mingle. Like, I think Tiger needs to be Tiger. No more cage, Tiger. No more, okay, I'm trying to be domesticated, Tiger. Tiger, just be who you are. And if that's the one who loves the ladies, you're not the first to do it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard one thing about this was interesting, that they had a clause that she thought that they would stay together five years post-breakup because she provided valuable services. Whenever you break up with someone and their response or what they hang their hat on is not love or emotions or they miss you, it's valuable services. It lets you know we already was in a transactional relationship and this thing had no chance of ever working out. I don't know the inner workings of that relationship, but it looks a lot weird and weirder when you hear every single detail that makes you say, Tiger, stay away from the ladies right now unless mm -hmm. you guys have a clear understanding. But doesn't it, like, you were in the NFL for how many years? 10 years, a decade. 10 years. Okay, so go Bills. Uh, and I know you're with Chargers Mafia. and others in Dallas. Yes. But Bills, I'm from the state of New York and Syracuse in particular, so yes, go Bills. Yes. Um, I, I got to imagine when you were playing 
there, you had to worry a little bit about somebody doing this kind of thing to you. You know, like I've talked on the air before about, I've heard on like some superstar baseball players whose names you would know and and make the extreme measures they have to go to, to make sure that a young woman coming over to their house at night doesn't turn around and say, I was raped. Something terrible happened. You know, you're a target, the bigger star you become, especially professional athletes, I got to imagine it's a concern. It's it's got to be a scary element of being a star. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's an anxiety that comes with every encounter, a uh, male and female. Let's just be real. Every dude you meet, you're like, is he a groupie dude? Is he going to just be a yes man? Is this dude really trying to come in here and be the homie? Or is he just trying to get all the perks that come with being around me, which includes other ladies, you know? Uh, You draft Mm -hmm. off of everybody that wants me, and then you just sit there and start having fun and poaching off of that. Yeah, that's the man conversation to another man, let alone to a lady when you're always vulnerable, no matter what was said, no matter what was written, as in this Tiger Woods situation, doesn't matter because it can come down to a single moment of he say versus she say. So I had that anxiety. And one of the things that actually protected me was my upbringing, was my background. A lot of women would bring it up and I would echo it because they brought it up. They were like, oh, so you're from Compton or you're from the hood. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, your family was gangster and they were all in the streets. I said, some of them. And then they were like, wow, that's crazy. Let me hear some stories. I give them a couple. Next thing you know, they're kind of scared to mess with me because they know I'm connected Mm. to that life and that lifestyle. (laughs) And I'm not like overtly, but yeah, I'm a phone call away from making this life different for everybody, including me. So I'm like laughing (laughs) and that actually made people scared straight. Like even my boys, some of them are like, dog, don't mess with Wiley. Why? Because Wiley know folks. <laughs> and then it, it's almost <laughs> like in the movies when you know someone knows a soprano, you know, you're like, uh-oh. So <laughs> I, I never had to worry, but I had anxiety. Like I'm going to get caught up in some situations and it's her word versus mine. So the way to do it is just like how you play sports. You actually got a game plan. You actually got to call the right plays. And there are no guarantees. No matter where you go, no matter who you meet, no matter what you do, you're still vulnerable to a woman's word. And I think a lot mm-hmm. of men know that, especially men of celebrity. Sherry from Omaha, Nebraska has this to say about Genucel. Quote, I have sensitive skin and I'm careful about all products. Then my husband bought me Genucel's immediate effects product and the Genucel deep firming serum. Felt it working immediately. Eyes look amazing, face feels smooth, and it diminished the appearance of wrinkles. So impressed. And thanks to Genucel and my husband, I now take Genucel everywhere. End quote. It's not just Sherry. Genucel has sold over 1 million products to women and men across this great country. Say goodbye to fine lines, wrinkles, and even those annoying under-eye bags and puffiness from years of endless Zoom calls. And look 5, 10, even 15 years younger, just in time for warmer weather. Best of all, guaranteed results in as little as 12 hours or your money back. Go to genucel.com to see for yourself with 70% off their most popular package. That's all their best stuff, including the classic under-eye bags and puffiness treatment, free shipping and luxury beauty box containing two free gifts with every subscription. Go to genucel.com slash MK60. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.